Good morning. This is Pastor Jason of Kona Faith Center with a word for today. And the word for today is stand. In Ezekiel today, the Lord said he sought for a man to build up the wall, to stand in the gap so that he would not destroy the land. Reminds me of another scripture. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin. I will heal their land. Now, when I'm reading the Old Testament, it makes me think of our nation. So many of our leaders are wicked, evil, greedy, cruel, murderous, liars, haters of God, haters of his word, haters of his people. And yet God is looking for someone to stand in the gap. I find it interesting in that in Ezekiel today, God asks if Ezekiel is willing to speak of the people's sin and the judgment that sin is bringing. Hey, are we interested in standing up and speaking truth? I find it interesting in, in the reading today, God says to find dependable people and make them leaders and give them specific responsibilities that are aligned with their gifting. I find it interesting that God tells Ezekiel that people are led astray because religion Religious leaders don't teach. They don't teach the people to love what God loves, to hate what God hates. They don't teach the people to honor God, to honor his word. They don't teach the people the difference between what is holy and what is not holy. And more importantly, they do not live a life of loving what God loves, hating what God hates, honoring God, honoring his word, and distinguishing between what God says is holy and everything else. Man, it would be so easy to say there is so much evil. What can I do? It'd be like throwing a stone in the ocean. And from a natural perspective, I would agree with that. However, we can do what we can do is more than what they can do. For greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. So several points today. Let us live lives that accurately reflect Jesus. Let us love what God loves. Let us hate what God hates. Let us honor God and his word. Let us learn what God says is holy and then treat what God says is holy different than everything else. Let's teach others to do the same thing. Now, now let me be clear. When I say teach others to do the same, I want you to think about the people that are already in your life. Ask the Holy Spirit to point some of them out. Work with those who will work with you, but work. Build the wall. Stand in the gap. And together intercede for the people around you, our community, our island, our state, our nation, because what we do matters because the Lord is looking for someone to stand today. The Lord is looking for someone to speak for him today. The Lord is just looking for someone. So be somebody. The word for today is stand. God bless. Check in tomorrow.